is where Silva's done a lot of work to people in this clinch. Ooh. Oh, Cannonier is so powerful. Yeah, he showed his power there, yeah, didn't he, DC? He's, he's punching out of that tight clinch. <laughs> and I mean, you've seen Anderson get a lot of guys in there and just really hold them in. Jared Cannonier punches way out of that thing. Cannonier orthodox right now. He'll switch his stances frequently. Slow you down. Keep the right low low. Silva hasn't thrown a whole lot through four minutes, but when he has, he has landed. Good hand move by Jared. And he's landing on Silva for sure. Cannonier would do well to just keep going to the body of Anderson Silva. The more you dig to the head of Silva, the counters are there. Counters are harder to react to if they go to the body. Jared's just a much better fighter today. Uh, even since he fought David Branch, just the patience that he showed. He's got to be careful here, though. He doesn't want to be trapped. Total strikes, three to one for Cannoneer. Silva and immediately Herb Dean Whoa. stops the fight. Ooh, Silva thought about there. fighting back for a second, but a right knee injury for Anderson Silva, yeah, courtesy of the Cannoneer kick, puts an end to this fight, and you just hate seeing that. Oh gosh. Yeah, that's not fun seeing anyone get injured. He landed that inside leg kick over and over again. You know, it's unfortunate that someone gets hurt, but Jared Cannoneer came in here with a game plan to land that kick, and he landed it over and over again. All right, let's take a look back at it. This fight replay is brought to you by Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. I mean, that's a good inside leg kick. You don't know the extent of the injury, but you see Cannoneer throw his hip all the way into the kick, and it lands at the knee, right? Like, right at the knee is where that kick landed. That's, uh, 